Hi everybody and welcome back to another orchestral library review video. Today we will look at the Berlian Consordino strings from Orchestral Tools. So this is all about muted strings, we're talking about lush, delicate and rounded strings suitable for contemporary scoring. Today we'll listen to some of the instruments and articulations within the Berlian Consordino string package and write a small music piece while exploring the sounds and hopefully we'll get some good music going. Stay with me to see what we end up with. A big thank you to Orchestral Tools for sending me a review copy of uh, Berlin Consordino strings. The full price for the package at the making of this video is uh, 499 euros. My name is Matthias, let's take the tour. Very lush sound. So the sound of the Berlin Consolino strings, uh, unlike the big symphonic orchestra, which may contain like 90 musicians, this is more of a like a chamber string sound, sections divided into 8, 6, 6, 6, 3. That means that we have 8 first violins, 6 uh, second violins, 6 violas, 6 cellos and 3 basses. So that gives us more of a tight uh, chamber string sound, which is great for this uh, consordino and muted string sound. On the right side here we can see I have a bunch of different articulations loaded in this uh, sign instance. And the patch I just played for you was the sustains plus legato. On some of these patches in the Consordino strings package you can also control the vibrato, so you can have subtle vibrato or more expressive vibrato. And I have one of the knobs here on the MIDI controller to control CC3, so we can either have the subtle vibrato or a more expressive vibrato. So in the library for each of the sections here, if we open one of these folders, you can see there's a whole bunch of articulations for each of these uh, section types. Now I'm already inspired by that sustained legato patch, so why not just dive in, select a few of these articulations and write some music. And then we can go ahead and dive in and listen to some of these more specific articulations afterwards. Right, so let's see, we have this violin soft legato patch. But maybe just to begin with uh, some laying down some harmony with the uh, soft uh, sustains. Now let's double this with a melody, maybe played by the viola sustains legato.
Now let's add some uh, Shelly Sustained Legatos. Right, so now maybe let's go for a bigger sound here on the second uh, part this uh, melody comes in. So maybe double the viola sustains legatos with uh, the violins. So let's do a little cut right there and uh, move this uh, and double this uh, with the violins up here. And I will also make the violins here an octave above. So let them play around the, the C4 octave. Okay, so what do you think? Up until now we've been using the Berlin Consordino strings without any additional reverb, only the natural hall, the Teldex scoring stage. Personally, I think it's a really warm and crisp sound in the Berlin Consordino strings. But in logic here I have all these uh, instrument tracks uh, in a group. And let's activate the chroma reverb on this group with uh, a concert hall and listen to this piece with a little bit of reverb. So that's a really beautiful uh, muted strings sound. Maybe we should add a little bit of that bass uh, sustains legato included within the Berlin Consordino strings. So with the basses you also have the same kind of articulation setups, but we will use this sustains legato. And uh, soloed it sounds like this. Very, very deep and <laughs> nice uh, bass sound. So let's see where we can add that.
So in Logic, there's a super nice function. If you forget to press record, you can always press uh, Shift and R. And that will get all the MIDI notes that you played in the previous uh, playback session back into uh, a MIDI clip. Right, so that's a quick little cue using some of the violins, violas and cellos and basses of uh, consordino strings. And I think it's uh, it sounds really coherent and nice and all these sections are, are very distinct and easy to hear in, in the mix here. Okay, so let's turn off the reverb and let's listen to some of these articulations so you can hear what they sound like. Just let's take a listen to one of these swells. So that's a really, really beautiful sound. I really love that muted sound. Then you also have a secondary folder, the specials.
Right, so that's uh, some of the more normal patches like sustains uh, legatos, uh, legato patches. Maybe we should listen to some of these more uh, special uh, patches. So let's uh, double this uh, last track, go into the sign player and find some of these more uh, special patches. Let's go to the Celly specials and listen to the harmonic fast tremolos. So that's a super soft uh, harmonic tremolo sound, really, really beautiful. Right, so let's now listen to the hotel mutes, which is even a more softer sound than the regular mutes. So the word hotel here in the hotel mutes is uh, like the, it's for a more like a practice sound, so you can practice in in a hotel room or something. So that's a more even more silent sound. Okay, so the lowers here, the lower repetition is a very interesting sound, very interesting articulation. So that's uh, like a tempo sync to repetitions. But obviously if you don't press down the notes in sync, uh, they will be like syncopated. So the raw repetitions is very playable and you can get tons of expression out of, of these patches. But also use the raw repetitions as uh, underlying pulses for the rest of your composition. Let's listen to the violins specials. Oh! So that's the sound of the Berlin Consordino strings. I really feel that the muted strings in combination with a smaller Teldex scoring stage gives a really intimate and powerful rounded sound. Now the Berlin Consordino strings is part of the larger Berlin series, which includes the Berlin strings, the Berlin symphonic strings 
and now the Berlin Consolino strings. And I think that you can buy the whole bundle for like 14.99 euros. Right, so uh, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the like and uh, write some nice feedback or comments in the comment section to this video. I can also recommend you to sign up to my newsletter at uh, morningdoomedia.com so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And as a bonus, you get a free creative booster guide. Okay, that's all for today. See you in the next video. I'm Matthias. Bye.